Clare. Uh, what, what's your take on this? Absolutely disgusted. I'm absolutely disgusted that any child would be motivated or allowed to do anything like this. I know it's summer holidays, right? But this isn't any form of, of, of fun. Or this is absolutely disgusting on, on so many levels. Um, but these kids, what hope do they have? What hope do they have when they're being brought up in, in an environment as hostile as their parents obviously thinking this is the route to take? I just can't believe it. I cannot believe anyone would be motivated if a child, to riot, let alone allowing your child to. Do you think that if a child as young as 11 is attending a riot, the parents should also face some sort of... Yes, absolutely. Because, because there's their responsibility. The child is their responsibility. The child is a child in the eyes of the law and in society. They're not responsible for their own actions mm -hmm. at that age. The parents, however, are. But what you'll find is either the parents are joining them or yep, they're following yep. on from that, or the parents mm -hmm. are not there. They're and absent. I just wouldn't accept, Scarlett, that parents don't know what their 11-year-old is doing. I know. I mean, I, I think, if anything, they're encouraging them. I mean, that's what's so mm. frightening about this, is, is, is Claire's right. I mean, the fact that they're there is appalling. Yeah. But actually, the damage that it's doing, that you're having children brought up to hate. Mm. Yes. Because this is what the, these riots are about. I mean... You know, you can talk about underlining, but actually they're hate riots and they're people screaming at things. And what what a parent is doing, and absolutely, they are totally responsible. And, and disrespect for the police as well. I mean, I could not imagine... If I was 11, my attitude to police officers, yes, sir, no, sir, And that was bags, in Belfast. Well, sir, and that was in Belfast. Yeah. Yeah. That's attitude at 41. Yeah. yeah. Well, frankly. <laughs> but it, sta <laughs> well, it stays with you. Yeah, that, that's yeah. the point. But, what, you know, with these 11-year-old children, and this is why I do think the parents should face some sort of um, re repercussions is because it can ruin their lives. And this is what the DPP has been saying. These children could get criminal records. Yeah. Um, they would therefore struggle to get employment. They will therefore struggle to travel, depending on what they're you know, yeah. convicted for. Um, and it is a life-changing decision to get involved in these riots, these criminal riots. And, and these kids are clearly not capable of making those decisions no, themselves. No, they're not. No, and, and, but, but, I mean, what, what, what I'd like to know is how often they're, they're brought along. I mean, they're, they're, mm. that it's not just they're allowed or there, there are parents who don't, don't know what they're up to, mm. but actually there are parents who are saying, yes, you know, let's all go. And, it, and, it, and, it, it, and you're right about it changing, you know, that, that they can get a criminal record and everything. But also, I mean, it, what worries me is what happens when you're in the middle of a riot mm -hmm. and how, how damn... I mean, that whole hate... The, it's the you adrenaline. You see the pictures of people throwing things at mm. the police. You see the pictures of, of people screaming. I mean, you know, people of colour are actually terrified of going out on the street now. Yeah. And, and, and you saw the pictures of, of this gang going down a street smashing every car, smashing the windows. I mean, you know, the, the, this is what we're talking yeah. about. And we should not... I mean, of course there shouldn't be children. Sarah Vine describes it as um, toxic max masculinity at its very worst. And why an 11-year-old child should be anywhere near that is, as you say, it is dangerous. Yeah. Oh, well, I suppose the good news, and I do want to kind of mm -hmm. reflect this mm -hmm. in the nature of balance, is yep. that there weren't any major... Uh, upsets and incidents last night. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there so was. That's a positive. Yes, there was. There was. There was in the Belfast. Same scale. Not on the same scale, really? but st no, well, stop but trying to pretend this is going away, because this ain't going away, <laughs> okay. and today's going to be a very, very dangerous day. But can I say, Eamon, you said that people aren't going to go to jail. Look, if they are jailing the Just Stop Oil people for five years... And so they should. Uh, if they're doing that, what are they going to be doing to people who are throwing bricks at the police? Nothing. The, Nothing. Absolutely. They're going to do nothing. Okay. That's what they're going to do. Listen, I'm telling you, I watch all this stuff in Belfast for years. Mm. You can burn a police land rover, mm -hmm. you can do whatever the heck you want. You know what happens to you? Stuff all. Stuff all. Mm -hmm. So I will, we will come back. Well, Starmer, these... Starmer will talk tough on all this. No, this he hasn't the got the staff. He hasn't the got the, the prison court. cells for this. He hasn't got anything. Well, they've, th th there are 500 prison cells that have been made available. Right? He, that's what he said. And, and, and the courts are being opened. I remember. Getting the staff. They I haven't got staff to man Wandsworth Prison, right? I know. That report was in there. 500. So who are they letting out oh, of those 500 cells? There's lots of um, female um, convicts who have been uh, sent down for 
things like fraud, that are you know, non-violent female criminals are the first to be released to make way. Well, they're going to put, because it's predominantly males that are uh, rioting, are they going to put those males yeah. in female prisons? Well, there'll be lots of moving around. Well, and, yeah, jiggery pokery. But I think they're going to come down really hard on I, this. I think they're going to come down. I mean, I remember 2011. Yes, yeah, so do and, I. And, and yeah. the sentences. And that was very serious. You know what? Yeah, I you know what? Listen, what listen. Do you want to aim uh, no, in just, 2011? Sorry, I've reported on it for yeah. longer than you have. Okay. Well, right? Then you know for 41 more years. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, right. we'll come so back. So the whole point, you say we don't talk to terrorists. We do talk to press. I will tell. I will guarantee you that it is all talk tough, and they'll all be out after a week. They'll be stuck in a cell for a week. Guarantee me they'll all be out after a week. They'll be guaranteed because he cannot. The 27th. So you're already wrong. Yeah. I'm not already wrong. It's not the 27th yet. Yeah, exactly. There's more weeks. He's in custody until the 27th. The first convict. So they've all been remanded in custody. Except if you're under, if you're under 18, right? It's all if you're showmanship. Over, if you're over 18, they've been remanded in custody, so they're already in jail. Yeah, but how many? It's all show. First 20 or so. Look, Isabel, you can laugh all you I want, love. Uh... But, but the, the, the whole track record on this does not stand up to any sort of yeah, examination. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing.